What's going on everybody, it's Eric Ray with the back here helping you take your game to the next level and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get a one play touchdown in Madden 18. Now if this is your first time checking out one of my videos and you want to improve your Madden game, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Make sure to hit the bell icon so that you join the notification squad and never miss an upload. So what's up guys, like I said today I'm going to be showing you how to easily get a one play touchdown in Madden 18 and the play in general I'm just gonna show you a glitchy way to run this play and this is actually gonna be a preview to my gun bunch um, offensive ebook that I'm going to be releasing uh, this week so if you want to get this ebook the best way to do it is to become a patreon member I just started my patreon account and basically what that means is it's just a place where you can you, you, it's a platform where you help support creators but in return you get something back so if you head on over to the patreon you'll see that there's things on there where you know you want to just support a few dollars a month you get extra tips every month that will be exclusive to patreon and will not be posted on youtube uh for a little bit more a month you get access to every ebook that i release literally every single ebook that gets released if you are a subscriber to the patreon anytime an ebook comes out you get the new ebook uh and that's where this is going to be released now if you want to buy it separately you know i'll have it, i'll have a link to buy it separately but it will be more to buy it separately so just a heads up but this is going to be a preview this is not in the ebook but I, for the free preview I wanted to give you something that was really a game changer and this is something that is not necessarily I mean I, I have my own ways of running it but the, the cover 3 bomb out of this is something that's just popular right now it's not something that I on my own came up with but there's a different way that I run the play that makes it you know more than just a one play touchdown but first I want to show you how to get the one play touchdown because people are constantly been asking me how do you beat cover three lately because cover three is actually starting to become a lot more popular now because people have caught on to cover two and cover four so the play we want to look at is corner strike out of gun bunch and you want to always have the bunch on the wide side of the field for this one play touchdown to work so a very simple basic way that you can run this is you can just max protect everybody this is just if you just want to get the one play touchdown and then you put a on a fade and what I like to do what I find works better is I like to motion snap the B receiver a few steps and then watch what happens here as we're getting block shedded to death we had the one play touchdown but of course Joey Bosa just got absolutely glitchy and for some reason this year, uh, block sheds are just way better with cover three defense. It's like, look, look how Bosa is just getting a crazy jump. But anyway, make a make a little move there and make guys miss. But you can see one play touchdown, and that's behind Casey Hayward, who is one of the best cornerbacks in regular teams. He he is a, he has the 91 zone threshold. I believe he has 93 zone, and he's getting burned every time. And we'll run this a few more times. You can see it's gonna work every time. Just make sure that the bunch is on the wide side of the field and these look these guys literally can't block i have seven people blocking that's how good cover three is when it comes to block sheds right now it's it's really crazy it's like something something new i don't know if it's been like this all year just since the patch but the block sheds on cover three are crazy but as you can see again one play touchdown or he got a stupid animation there should have been a one play touchdown but we got a big gain and sometimes when you try to rat catch it this year they go for like the spec catch animation which is stupid but yeah, it's just you know part of the game i guess you could say again over the top of his head one play touchdown it's gonna burn cover three literally every single time so how can you make this more effective well there's two ways that you can run this there's like the very basic way which is what i just showed you which is to max protect put a on a fade and then put the extra receiver on a drag and this is like a lot of setups you see from pro players this year max protecting and just putting three routes out there because it kind of works this year even though it, it, it shouldn't be as good as it is it works so what happens here is you have the one play touchdown ability against cover three but let's say they run a different coverage or let's say they use or the one play touchdown then you know on the back end you still have a drag that you can throw uh, just in case you always want to have like a back end route on the play just in case so this setup right here the max protect with the drag I would only run that on someone that's running a lot of cover three like you you just know that they're gonna come out and run cover three they've been running it most of the game then this is a safe uh it's a safe bet because you're either gonna have the one play touchdown or you're gonna have the drag uh every single time because he can't possibly guard both of them but a more creative way that you can you know you can set this play up is you're gonna have less blocking but you're gonna have more options in case they run a different defense so what I do first is max protect uh, which is LB or L1 and up on the right stick for those that don't know we're gonna put A on a fade and then we're gonna drag RB so what we're doing now is creating a high low read on the left side of the field with the C route and the drag so 
you know, for instance, let's say they go and they're, they, they, they recognize it and they're going to user, you know, the, the one play touchdown. So then we can just look to the left side of the field and say, okay, who's open, the drag or the C route? Because one of those are going to almost always be open. Let's say that they go cover two, right? And we notice post snap that it's cover two. Well, the one play touchdown is not going to work on cover two. But luckily, we can just look to this side of the field and we say, okay, you know, we have a high low read on this side of the field. And you're usually going to be taking the drag because usually they're not going to play underneath. But let's just say that they're playing underneath coverage right here, for example. And let's say, I don't know, let, let's say they, they set, they somehow are stopping our one play touchdown. Let's say they got it stopped. And, you know, we look over here, we say, okay, we have the C route open now. So no matter what, on that left side of the field, you're going to always have a high low with the C route and the drag just in case your one play touchdown is taken away or something like that another thing about cover three is if you know if they let's see here if they if they um if they leave the uh, the purple zone out there or have a hard flat if they don't put a cloud flat out there you're going to also be able to hit the corner route because the purple zone is not going to get out there in time to defend it so let's say they're they're using the one play touchdown well you still have the uh, the corner route out there if they leave the purple zone on the field which a lot more beginner players will do that a lot more you know less experienced players will they won't change that purple zone to a cloud flat and what else is good is even here we're gonna run a a cover three cloud which most people would say well if you run a cover three cloud that would stop the one play touchdown but it actually doesn't uh, you would think that if you run a cover three cloud because of how the the alignment is you would think that would stop it but he's still gonna get behind that safety over there and even versus a cover three cloud he's gonna work so any type of cover three zone you're gonna be able to bomb it for a one play touchdown and this is huge because all of the best blitzes in the game are cover three blitzes pretty much uh with the exception of the tampa two blitz but uh, out of 335 but all of the crossfire blitzes which is the main the main blitzes people run this year you know the three four odd crossfire the dollar crossfire the three three five odd crossfire those are all cover three plays so by max protecting right you're gonna max protect that's going to block the blitz, and they're in a cover three, so you have the ability to hit them with a one-play touchdown, and that's why this play is just so dangerous, um, because most, most experienced players that you run into are going to be in crossfire blitzes because they're the best blitzes in the game, but even if they do run a different type of defense on you by using the alternate setup, you still have a high-low read on the left side of the field to take advantage of against any coverage, whether it be man, cover two, or cover four, so this is the free play for the gum bunch ebook uh definitely wanted to kick it off with a bang like i said if you want to purchase the ebook uh it'll be dropping later this week uh if you want to buy it full price the links will be in the description later on if you want to go to patreon and buy it it's going to be a lot cheaper there so just keep that in mind but as always guys if you enjoyed this video just drop a like comment subscribe and i will see you guys next time